Welcome back to the video, everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Hopefully you're out fishing. It's a beautiful day, as you can see on the lake. And Parker and myself are doing something a little bit different today. We are bass fishing because that is the only open game fish right now in Wisconsin. Bass, we have an all year round catch and release season. So, something to do besides fishing for panfish. Only one more week until game fish opens. We start chasing walleyes and northern and stuff like that. But, I don't do a whole lot of bass fishing. So don't make fun of me, don't laugh. I don't know a whole lot about bass fishing, but I am trying. I'm gonna try my best to get a few bass today. I am using a bullet weight with a hook and a Guggen Squad Bandito bug on it. And I'm going to cast it out and drag it slash jig it across the bottom and see what happens. I know most of the people are using crankbaits, I believe. Crankbaits, jerks, jerk baits and stuff right now, earlier in the year. But we're going to try something different. Myself and Parker are both going to be using that. And uh, we're going to see what happens. So basically just driving around fishing deeper rock piles and then up around some of these rocky islands. <sighs> we're going to see what happens. Hopefully we can catch a few of these largemouth bass. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Rod giveaway at 500 subscribers. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a few bass and maybe we'll randomly catch another fish. But who knows? Hopefully we can get a few bass, so stay tuned. You won't want to miss it. Oh, we got one, boys. Oh yeah, get in here. Get in here. Oh, there we go. There we go, folks. Not a giant one, but a nice one. A little pre-spawner, very chunky, very healthy fish. I'm using the uh, Guggenbaits Bandito Bug on a, I don't know what it is, a one-out hook or something like that. And then I have a bullet weight right on there. If I can freaking get this bandito bug back on here, right? There we go. Now she's weedless. Bam. Just like that. And basically, all I'm doing is just casting it out there. Letting it sink to the bottom. And then just, just hopping it. Very slowly. See if we can get a few more. It's freaking beautiful out here. I'm not really sure if we're working this right even. I don't know. I'm not really sure if we're doing anything right. I, I have no idea. I was thinking about just kind of slowly dragging it across the pond. I know, just like a slow drag. Yeah. And then just like maybe like a... Fish? No. Yeah. Stick. Big old fish. That's probably a mounter. Yeah, I should probably mount that one right there. Look at that. Damn. I, yeah, that's probably a mounter. I don't know why I let that go. I should have put it in the live wall right away. Parker has something massive. Oh, it's right here by the boat. Yeah. Oh gosh, no, I'm snagged. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I got mine out. What, dude, what do you got? I don't know. That thing's going off right now. What do you got? I'm just gonna try, this tree is looking very soft. What? Whatever it was, it's fucking... Whatever it was, it's big. <laughs> what is that? What if you got a giant carp? I think I do. It's going off, whatever you got. I just want to see it. Come to the back, come to the back. Dude, what do you got? I'm going to turn the trolling motor around here. What do you got right now? I don't know, it's something big though. It doesn't want to leave that tree. No, it does not. What if it's a giant musky? Mondo bass? I don't know. If that's a bass, that's like a 10 pounder. No, that, no, that, that it's gotta be a carp. It has to be. We, we haven't so. even seen it yet. I saw the back thing of it. I couldn't really make it out though. The carp were keeping it. Oh my gosh, go back over me. It's going back to the front. Dude! 
Where's the trolling motor remote? Turn the trolling motor back around. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, dude? I'm gonna switch to the big camera for this. What do you got here? I wish I could tell you. <laughs> oh god. I'll tell you what, whatever it is, don't want to give up. No, it's really staying down. We haven't even... Dude, we don't even truly know what it is. No, yet. I saw the back dorsal fin and that's about all I saw on it. <laughs> We're just kind of following it around the shoreline right now. Dude, what is it? It has to be a carp. I think a carp. it's a carp. It's got to be a carp. You probably just tail snagged it or something. It's big. Oh, gosh. It's coming dude. up. It's... Whatever it is. If it's a carp, it's... Oh. Oh. There's no words. <laughs> There's no words. There is uh I'm like 90% sure that there's, was a carp. I saw the back door there's, open and it was all tore up. There's Look. no, there's no words for that though. There's. That was, that was, that was a sad moment right there. Oh. We've been on a very heavy grind lately. Everybody, you need to, you need to comment down below and give us some bass tips. Cause we're just not on the bass grind I really. F in the chat. <laughs> oh. That was huge, whatever it I was. Think it was a carp. There's no way it was anything else. It was big. Is it it was really. We did, a northern cut this I wish we could have at least seen it. <sighs> well, I guess we're just in, we're just cruising along the shoreline right now, trying to catch some Dang. bass, but it's not working. But we're just gonna keep going and see if we can get a few. Didn't even get the GoPro on in time. <laughs> oh, it's a nice one. He absolutely freaking choked it, dude. Oh my god. He freaking choked it. Come here, boy. He, dude, he just absolutely smoked it, dude. Come here, boy. Oh, got him. Nice one. Dude, he just in absolutely smoked it. He was not happy that I was... Oh, he was not happy that that was in his face. Okay, I'm getting the player. Oh, there we go. Nice one. Freaking nice one on the good old bandito bug. Heck yeah! There we go. We've not we haven't caught a fish off of a dock yet. No. I see a tree. Ooh, see a tree in the water. I like trees. I don't like getting snagged on trees, but I like fishing in trees. There's usually a slithery little bass hiding in them. We're still awake making our way along the shoreline here, but we have a very good question. If anybody lives in this house, or you know who did it, or you know who lives here, Fox Lake, Wisconsin, how did you even make this possible? How do you balance on two cinder blocks that monster pier? Me and Parker are very confused. How's that even possible? Like, how do you literally get that up on those two cinder blocks like that? Like, what? As you can see, we're back home. I just dropped Parker off. We got caught in a freaking, well, let me get some better lighting. Let me get some better lighting. We got caught in a major rainstorm. So I had to put the cameras away. It was crazy. We, we were sitting under a bridge for about 30 minutes waiting for the pouring rain to stop, but it wasn't a bad day after all. Since me and Parker, that was literally my first time ever actually going bass fishing, like just for bass. And it wasn't, wasn't too bad. There are definitely some things to learn, but we ended up catching nine or 10, I think. Not, none of them were really small, but some of them were pretty, most of them were pretty nice. And then Parker lost that big fish. We'll call that the mystery fish. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, hit smash that subscribe button, comment down below, comment some tips or tricks, bass fishing, whatever you got, comment on what videos you wanna see, hit that like button. And I'll see you guys on the next video.